Off the top at four, we begin with a family tragedy in Miami. An 11 year old shot and killed in her own home. Three people now arrested, including the girl's father, who we've learned has a long criminal history. Local 10's Leanne Motorhome live now in Miami with the new developments. Leanne. And all three people who were arrested just went before bond court. All of them are being held without bond. And we are learning new information about exactly what led to the gunfire, including that that fatal shot was fired by the victim's own younger sibling. Miami police arrested three adults in connection to the shooting of an 11 year old girl inside a Miami apartment. The victim identified as Talia Clark died from a gunshot wound to the chest. We received different stories as if they were coached. And when we asked Ms. Severe what happened. I'd object to speculation. The child's father, Titato Clark, his mother, Charlene Webster, and his girlfriend, Nancy Severe, are each charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child. Police got a 911 call around noon Tuesday stating the child had been shot and was being rushed to the hospital by her father. Police say the girl and her nine-year-old brother were alone in their room when a gun went off. The state saying today that the victim was shot by her sibling. There were two children allegedly alone in a bedroom, one child firing the gun, shooting the other who then died as a result of that wound. All three of those adults count as caretakers under the statute. Police say they found a gun wrapped in a scarf and blanket in the child's room, a pool of blood still on the floor. While police won't say who the gun belonged to, the arrest form states Titato Clark has an extensive criminal history. Nancy Severe has a prior conviction for child abuse. Her public defender argued in court that she had no knowledge of any weapons in the home. She did not place the firearm in the house. She did not know the firearm was even in the house. The judge not buying those arguments, all of them again held without bond. The child's mother is now taking care of her other siblings and half siblings after a dependency hearing was held earlier today. We're live in Miami. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. New twist in the case. Leanne, thanks a lot.